Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today, I wanna to talk about judgment. You know, if you saw me limping down the street in Fort Collins, Colorado, you might judge. You might think, hey, that's either a homeless guy or that's just some guy that, you know, whatever. I, you, until I got into my car, you would never realize the amount of success that I've achieved in my life. I think that it's possible that we judge a lot in this world today. And it's very important as successful people for us to look at the whole picture, consider all the facts before we jump to any conclusions. That's how we make good business decisions and that's how we realize our goals is by working in a truthful way towards the advantageous uh, uh, events and moments that need to occur in order for us to achieve our dreams and goals. Um, I want to tell you a quick story that I think is a good representation of needing to understand the entire picture uh, before we jump to conclusions or we judge. <clears throat> there once was a man who had four sons. Wanting to teach them about the dangers of judging things too rapidly, he decided to send each of them on a journey, one after the other, to a distant pear tree. Each son went, went in a different season, the first in the winter, the second in spring, and so on. At the end of the year, he brought his sons together and asked them what they'd seen. The son who'd travel in winter described a gnarled, twisted, and barren tree that stood stark against an ugly landscape. The son who went in spring disagreed with him. No, he said, the tree seemed full of hope and promise with green buds along its branches. The third son, who traveled in summer, disagreed once more. The pear tree he'd seen was covered in beautiful blossoms and looked and smelled divine. Finally, the last son, who, went, who made the journey in fall, disagreed once again, describing a tree laden with sweet and delicious pears that tasted better than he had ever seen or eaten before. When each, after each son had spoken, the father said, You are all correct because you had only seen but one season of the pear tree's life. He explained to his son that, sons that it is foolish and impossible to judge something in this manner. The essence of something, whether it is a tree or your fellow man, can only be measured as a whole. At the end of the year, having seen the tree in its fullness, you will then be able to make the determination as to what the full story is. And that we have that, uh, that same example is a good representation for how we should consider our interactions with other people. Don't just judge them based on their clothes because if you go to the finest restaurant in Denver, Colorado, me and my wife are probably sitting there and I'm in sweatshorts and a, a band t-shirt or some other thing, but I'm not black tie like everybody else in the room. And my wife is usually wearing a beautiful sweatsuit and some pearls and, and tennis shoes. But we're not there to show you how fancy we are. We're just there to have dinner. So I think it's always a, a, a terrible representation. Don't judge people by their clothes. I went to the Berkshire Hathaway meeting one year in uh, Omaha, Nebraska, and I saw a gentleman who was covered in oil, had uh, bib overalls on, and you know I was I, I turned to my attorney and I said, listen, um, you know, I, wow, what's he doing here? The guy kind of smelled. He was obviously he had been working, um, and I was immediately corrected that the fact that that gentleman owned thousands of shares of Berkshire Hathaway Type A, he probably had just flown in from the oil fields in Texas in his G7, um, which he parked at to Elliott Beechcraft near Epley Airfield and and um, and that he was just there to hear Warren Buffett speak and then he was probably be back in the oil fields later that day. You know, and that's just a, a great representation of the type of work ethic it takes to be successful. But also a lot of us are hands on. You know, I'm, I'm hands on. I actually do a lot of different work, uh, program and project management for different charitable events and um, different circumstances where people can benefit. And then after I, if I make any money from those efforts, we give that money to charity. So you can't really judge an individual based on what they're doing at that point in time or what their clothes look like, or and also don't judge people from the way that they speak. Some of us have disabilities and we're not as clear spoken as others, 
but it doesn't mean that our supercomputers aren't powerful and aren't working all day long. You know, when I had my stroke, after the stroke, I suffered from a lot of speech issues and I still do have some speech issues. One thing I tend to do if you've been watching these videos is I ramble. I have a lot of thoughts going on up here in my supercomputer. It's just as a result of my stroke um, that I have a little bit of difficulty taking what's in my mind and then representing it in, in my speech patterns in a way that is, I think, appropriate sometimes for the way that uh, we, we expect to hear people talk and we expect to hear people say things in a certain way. Don't judge. You've got to get to know the whole person. You know, and have how many times have you felt judged in your life? You know, where maybe a boss has come to you or somebody's come and said, hey, why is this like this? And so on and so forth. And through no fault of your own, circumstances have occurred to where a representation of something has been placed upon you, but it's not true. You know different. That's okay. Because in circumstances like that, when I feel judged, do you know what I do? I, in the kindest and nicest way possible, step back, take a deep breath, I collect my thoughts, and then I read my goal card over and over and over again until I've refocused my mind back towards the primary goal that I'm working on at that point in time, and um, then I re-engage. You know, and it's okay if you're in a situation where you're being asked a bunch of questions or somebody's putting you into a situation to where you're feeling judged, that may not be their intention. So, you know, rather than, you know, engage them and, hey, why you're making me feel judged and I don't like this, sometimes it's okay to just step away from those situations and take a deep breath, read your goal card, and then go back and talk about it, but give them a little bit of time too. You know, just because they need, they may need time just like we need time, right? We're all humans, we're all working with the same equipment. As a result, sometimes we all just need to step back, think about what it was we just said, or rethink about the circumstance, and then re-engage. Now, I'm not talking about anything primarily here other than judging. Um, <clears throat> I just wanna mention that Somebody might be in their winter right now. They might be going through a tough time. So see them in winter, but then wait for their spring and their summer, okay? Because I tell you what, people will amaze you. And just because they're not having the type of day today that you would, that you would expect for them to be having, it doesn't mean that tomorrow isn't going to be a better day. It happens with me. I'm sure it happens with you. Listen, Refuse to judge yourself, okay? You are enough. And assume that where you are right now in your life is exactly where you're supposed to be so that you can achieve the primary goal you're focusing on right now. You may want to be a millionaire, but you're working as a waiter at a, at a restaurant. You know what? It doesn't mean you can't be a millionaire. It just means that right now you're probably in training for what's about to occur for you that's just going to be tremendous, amazing, and awesome. Okay, so don't judge where you are right now look at the whole picture remember there's a lot of events that probably think about how big the world is our world is gigantic and there's billions of people on this planet so think of all the things that may need to occur in order for you to have exactly what it is that you want so give it some time don't judge current circumstances and just know that wonderful things are coming for you in your life, friends. Okay? I want you to have the best day of your life. I got to jump. I'm going to go take my family to breakfast and then we're going to have a great day out on the Lake of the Ozarks. Little pontoon boat action. I can't wait. Love spending time with my primary team. Hug your families. Tell them you love them. If you have somebody great in your life that's helping you out right now, pick up the phone and give them a call. Tell them how much you appreciate them. Because you know what? When we offer kindness to others, it brings happiness to us. It works that way for every person, every single time. Have a wonderful day, my friends. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks.